Hello and welcome to this What's New in Shop Floor 2019 video. My name is Brian Jones and I am one of the sales engineers here at Codeware. And today we'll take a look at Shop Floor, cover some of the new features that were included in this most recent update. And let's take a step back first and talk about Shop Floor. So Shop Floor is Codeware's ASME Section 9 welding and project management software. It's typically used by quality control managers as well as managers of maintenance departments, whether you're working out of a fabrication shop um, or at some production facility. So if you fall under one of those categories, you can use shop floor um, to track the information uh, for the, the things that are happening at your shop or at your facility on a daily basis. So we have forms that you can create and manage for section nine, you've got your performance qualification records, welding performance, you've got your procedure qualification records, welding procedures, and so forth. Now for these forms, shop floor um, does have the ASME section nine rules programmed in. So to make sure you have all of the essential variables on those forms, and then also help you calculate some of those qualified ranges. Um, we've also included some manufacturer data reports for uh, ASME Section 8, Section 4, Section 1. Uh, we've got your repair forms from the National Board, and we've even got PCC1, which is the record for your bolted connections. So let's walk through an example so you can kind of see the workflow of the software. And let's say we've got a new job or new work order that's come in. Uh, you can start that process by creating a new job with this Manage Jobs tab. Um, now, when you create a new job, it'll simply ask you for a job number. I'll go ahead and go to one that we've already created here. You can see uh, there's places for you to specify information about that job. So you can pick from a list of customers, you know, which customer is this job uh, being performed for. I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom. You can even upload your purchase orders or any documentation that you want to associate with this job and, and keep it stored and saved in a, a nice safe place. Um, any change orders that, that come about, you can track those here as well. And for this example specifically, this is for a, a line of bottled gas cylinders. Um, each of these are individual you know, pieces of static equipment that we're welding uh, for that production plant. Let's go to this this first one, um, you know, bottle cylinder number one. We'll see it creates, you know, this new page. This is an equipment object. Here we can specify details about that static equipment, uh, like what are, are all of the components that we're welding together. You know, we've got an ellipsoidal head, we've got a shell, some nozzles, a skirt and you can manually input this information or if your engineering department is using compress or inspect you can actually load in those models um, so if you do load in those models this data will be brought in automatically you know the software will know what thickness you use what your materials were p numbers group numbers it also will be able to provide you with a list of each of the welded joints um, on that piece of static equipment so we've got all of our circumferential seams our longitudinal seams um, uh, weld sets for the nozzles as well. So um, the nice thing about using this equipment record to specify all of the details about a piece of static equipment is that shop floor will automatically send each of these listed welds or weld sets to the weld history. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you that. This is, is our weld lock. You know, this is where we track welder continuity. We have a list of all of the welds that are performed, you know, in the shop or, or on the work site. And all of these you'll notice um, do have this bottled gas cylinder as related equipment. Now I've gone ahead and selected welders and specified what welding procedure they used along with the processes. You can simply edit that information uh, by opening up that weld set. You can add more details here like fit up gap, your groove angle, um, if you have witnesses or need to specify what type of NDE was done. So there's a lot of data that you can track and store again for the work that you're performing in the shop um, or at that work site. So one of the new features we'll be able to, I want to show you here that we've included um, are some advanced 
search or filtering option. So for instance, if I go to this list of welding procedures, um, I can filter out this list for any of these specific criteria. Um, you know, let's say we have hundreds of welding procedures in this database and we want to only show or isolate those with the P number of value four. We can enter that, you know, apply that filter, it'll shorten that list. Um, these queries are, are also done really speedily and really fast. That's another enhancement that we've added to this this new update to Shop4. So you'll notice um, that the queries that you run will produce results a lot faster than it had in the past. Now one more feature I want to show you um, is the ability to add um, continuity entries in bulk. So you know one way to do it is to create that equipment record like we did for that bottle gas cylinder you know, list out all of the welded joints, specify details, and, and have that be sent to the weld log. The other way is, is to just go directly to the weld log itself. You know, here we can specify a welder, the welding procedure he or she used. We'll go ahead and pick the stick process. We'll say it was completed today. New fabrication. And we can even link that to a job number. Now if you have multiple welders performing similar welds, you can copy this line item multiple times and we essentially have you know, this bulk continuity entry, this ability to submit um, welds that were done um, at more than one at a time. I'll go ahead and reset our weld log. We can see those five lines were added. Um, again, Shop Floor will go ahead and update these welders' continuity from the completion date, six months or three months, um, whatever time interval you specify past that last weld date. Um, so, Shop Floor, uh, again, think of it as a centralized database uh, for you to create and store, keep track of all of the, uh, the documentation you need. Um, you know, to have a really good quality control program in place. If you have any questions about Shop Floor or want to schedule a one on one software demonstration, please contact us at sales at cobra.com or give us a call at 941 927 2670. We look forward to hearing from you.